and welcome back to Griffin, Indiana. Today we're going to be jumping in and starting the process of building these fields together to make one big old field because I totally need it right now. The process overall should be pretty easy, right? Well, should be anyway, so let's see what we could get into here. We're jumping to landscaping. We're going to go with leveling. We're going to make this about as big as it could be and about as flat is it could be about right there. I think that should be good. And we'll just go straight across to it. I think it's working. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let's go in here real quick and just check. Walking straight across. No issues. Yeah. Actually, I think that's going to be just fine. This might have been a whole lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Boom. Just like so. And go. Ah. Well, that was easy. We still want to go through and soften some of these areas, though. There are some spots that are maybe a little bit too low, maybe a little bit too high, and they're just off. And this could cause us a serious issue coming through here. All right, and now we got to get in here and do a little bit of plowing. So one thing I want to do is make sure that we don't get too far over. I just want to make this field go into the next one. And that's literally yet that's all i want to do just go straight can we do it without messing it up i know i could come through here and like draw into it later on yeah there we go okay so that's one way looks like that's absolutely perfect go dj nice and then we'll do it again here as well hopefully we don't get into too much trouble don't go too far to the right gun it Ha 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 ha! Got it! All right, so now all I gotta do is plow this whole area up and we'll be good. Oh yeah, we got this area down here at the bottom as well. Now this is gonna be a little bit interesting getting it up there because it's at a very, very interesting angle. Oh yeah, and these trees? All right, so check this out. I'm gonna go into my easy dev. We need to find our delete objects. There we go. And it's the delete key or the end key. Because we're ending them. Yeah. Uh, I think there's only two or three trees here, and that's quite literally it. End, end, end. I might also delete this big old tree right here. It's going to be just a little bit too close, I think. It's just a little bit more than I want to deal with there. All right. So that's what we've got through there so far. We'll go ahead and put this down. Try and stay at the exact same angle. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it or not. So we get right up through here. There you go. And then we just join them together. Yeah, you know what? That's close enough. Now it is one big field and we've got one big sprayer. I finally, finally went in and modified one of these bad boys. So we got a hundred thousand liter capacity, but really that's the only thing that's changed. I've also done the exact same thing to the dry box as well. So this will hold a hundred thousand liters too, but it has the same spread and everything like that. It's really easy. It's just a couple numbers, boom, and then you are done. So I'm going to use this to spray this field. Uh -oh, uh, that goes there. That goes there. How do you do the whole thing? Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of getting used to because I have not, uh, I've not used this before. So this ought to be fun. Hey, I like the, uh, the spraying animation. It's just a little bit different. Actually, it's a very lot bit different, but hey, it's working. So who cares? Also going through this field and I'm kind of trying to figure out how in the world I'm going to hire a worker on this. There's, uh, it, it's not crazy. If I'm honest, down here, there you go. There's our field looking good. Oh, yeah, I should probably reset the uh, store while I'm at it. There we go. Now the store's not in the middle of the field. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to hire a worker on this. It's going to be real interesting. Also, uh, this is just going to be a real big grass field, and that's about it. Uh, I could do another grass field somewhere else, but I think this one, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I might I might do something else. I'm still, still a bit on the fence. I need a grass field, and we don't have one. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess, rather, we don't need grass right now. We got like a million liters extra of silage, and I don't need grass. So I don't really know what to do with this field. We may have to plant corn or something like that. As a matter of fact, we got sorghum up there. We could do either a massive sorghum harvest or 
We could do something else down here, like oats or, or uh, canola, sunflower, something like that. All right, I think we got it. Check this out. So I was able to kind of do a little bit of an overlap and a little bit of a bit right there as well. But ba-boom, here you go. It should go ch-choom, ch-choom, ch-choom. It'll either get stuck down here or down here. But either way, we'll be able to fix that up just fine. I'm just happy that this is working. Heck yeah, man. While that's going on over there, we need to get together some of our equipment. So you can see here we have four combine harvesters. Now we have two X9s. We got the 780 and then the smaller 9610. Uh, some of these, it's great to have them. But I'm afraid that some of it's going to kind of get in the way. We've got a little bit too much equipment now. But I do want to buy more. Oh no, and an X9 modded is in... <laughs> I've already got a few of these. How much is this? 243 grand? You know what? I would actually be okay trading the other two uh, smaller combine harvesters that we got, the 780 and the other one that came in, uh, 9610, for one of these. It's going to be in there for a while, so maybe we'll just hang on to it. But I do think... Oh, can we get through? <laughs> I do think that we should at least... I would say sell. Probably get rid of these. I, I, I just hang on to equipment way too long. And I don't think we need all this stuff. So first to go is going to be the uh, 780. Sorry, bro. Bye. And then we got the 96 test. Sorry. He's been with us for a long time, but the time has come. We also have two of these. And I got to be honest, um, I haven't really used either one. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there's that. We don't use this. Ugh. We don't use a lot of stuff that we have. Those big X9s were super cool. Or say the, the X9s. Uh, the the 9RX. They're awesome. But man, it, like two 8Rs and I would be set. And we got all this stuff over here just kind of hanging out. And we don't even need it all. Like the, the Demco right here. Super cool. But I don't need it. Oh yeah, the header right here. We got to get rid of this. There's no point to have that or the header trailer that goes with it. You know, I love this, but like, please, can I click on it? Uh, I don't know what I've done, but oh, it's, can I not se select it? Oh no. There we go. Got it. I'm just going to get rid of it. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's super awesome. We just don't need it. Uh, this is a cool setup. I'm going to keep that. And we got another header right here. <laughs> and definitely not going to need that. All right. Let's take a look at everything that we've got. Because we, well, we got a lot. As far as our medium tractors go, the 7810, 62, and the uh, 4440. Could probably get away with selling the 7810. I don't even know where it is. Or what it's doing. <laughs> uh, the 6215R is actually performing flawlessly and I love it. Uh, we could probably get rid of the 4440, even though I think you guys might kill me if I try and do that. As far as our big tractors go, again, we have two uh, 9RXs. One's a mod, one's base game. And this. I don't want to sell it, but there it is. Um, and then trucks. We got two Sabine trucks. I think we should just get rid of this uh, ASAP. Two combine harvesters now, thank goodness. Uh, sprayer, we don't really need the telehandler anymore. We could probably get rid of that. Do I have anything leased? No, nothing leased. You know, the, the, we just got, we got some cool stuff, but I think it might be time to do a little bit of housekeeping. Look at the name on the bottom. John Deere 4940 self-propelled sprayer AI worker. Uh, it's also modded as well, which is just great. All right, I think the next to go is probably going to have to be these guys. They're awesome but I'm not using them for anything at all. I didn't even make any money hardly off of those either. These little guys, this, this guy right here, we don't need that. And we definitely don't need the bucket on the front of it. Now that we've got a sprayer, I don't need the extra sprayer right here. Um, oh, that's where that is. That's not a bad job for it. Uh, where's everything else? This, you know what? Just there. Got rid of that. Uh, let's see. This guy. We don't need this guy anymore, so that's cool. Um, this one's on a sprayer, which is fine. But we don't need the sprayer anymore. I like the tractor, but I don't think we really need it for anything. I love the 7810 here, but I think it might be time 
for this to go. We've had it since the beginning. We don't need that anymore. Uh, what else we got? 4 4 40. You know what? I'll hang on to that for right now at least. And I think everything else in here is needed. So we got two small tractors, one large tractor, one semi truck, two combine harvesters, and a sprayer. That's more than enough to do what we need to do here on the farm. Now with such a big field, I think that we should probably start looking into the investment of some dedicated mowers for this. I really, really, really like these swathers right here. Um, I don't think Case would probably be the way to go. Challenger might be kind of cool, but I think Heston may just be like the one way to go here. So we'll just go with Heston. I think we'll just stick with normal tires. We'll get ourselves two of these, and then we're also going to go with two of these as well. So we'll find Heston. There we go. We'll go with the logo on there. Boom, 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 and good to go. Oh, yeah, we got the Kubota mowers in here, too. I don't think we're going to be using those anymore, so we'll just get rid of them. And for now, we're going to have to use this person's front yard because I have nowhere to actually put these to where it makes sense. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be my last, like, I don't need it, but I want it edition but I think it's a good fit. So we've got the six series over there. We also have the 4440. I believe I kept that because I figured you guys would kill me if I got rid of it. Yeah, we still got it. Uh, and we got an 8R. So here's the 7R with big old duels on it, which should help us with planting. By the way, I don't know why I'm parking this. We got to get the planters out. I also need to find somewhere to put those big old corn heads because I have no idea. Oops, it got stuck over here at the corner. Well, I figured it would eventually. Um, I know what we're going to plant in here and I'm kind of excited about it. We're going to lease the harvesters for this particular activity because we don't need to buy them. We're going to do cotton. I think that would be a lot of fun. This is a massive field. I think it's perfect for doing cotton. Uh, and plus, we've got some modded cotton harvesters that are kind of rock stars in their own right from Agritono. So, I mean, we'd be rude if we didn't try them out, right? All right. So we have hit one stage of fertilization out here. Looking good. We're going to go ahead and fold this bad boy up and we'll put it over in the corner. Looks like it used, uh, oh, what is that? 91,000 liters left. So around 8,800, somewhere around there. It used a lot of fertilizer, but not near as much as it could have. We've got our planters set up. One of them I'm going to use for running headland. I'm going to run around this whole field two times. Two times. And uh, yeah, this guy right here. I love how there's some moves that come from over there. That's great. Uh, we're going to run over here two times. Again, we are planting cotton. Oh, yeah. You know, hire worker? Please hire worker? There we go. Don't make me nervous like that. We're getting there slowly but surely. Uh, along these like straight lines here, I'm just running one headline. However, anywhere where it could possibly turn around, I always like to run three. So one at the top, but we're in three around this little spot right here. I'm running three down here on the very end, and then I'll run one down through there, and then we'll run three up around through there and as soon as i get that done i'll hire a worker either here or up here how did he do is he turning around he's turning around all right and uh and then i've got this guy right here the adar they are just sitting patiently waiting because i'm gonna hire him on a worker right here oh yeah so there's one little weird thing about this tractor um the cabin is taking all of the beating and it is not doing well at all. Uh, for some reason, the 8R does a great job with this. I guess because it's got some independent suspension, or maybe um, Sid did something interesting, or maybe JHHG's piddled with it. But uh, yeah, I'm not not actually happy with the way this is driving. And so I'm getting rid of this 7R. It's just the base game one, so it's nothing crazy. But uh, I expected more. And here it is. <laughs> we got it. Let's see if this handles it just a little bit better. I know this has got better suspension. As you can see from the front already, uh, it is just handling it. Yeah. Um, doesn't need as much work on the back, but it does have some good suspension. Look how smooth of a ride that is now. Uh-huh. Yeah, this this is what I needed. Okay, so two ADARs then. And then the, the 6,000 and the, the, the other one. 
I think that's good. And the first one is off. Let's go ahead and hire this bad boy. So I did go with rear wheel uh, weights on the outside, but not on the inside and nothing on the front. However, if you take a look at this one, so we've got weights on the inside. Yeah, weights on the inside, but not on the outside and a front three point. Don't know why, but I did it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've also got to finish up here running these few headlights. I, I just kind of got tired of driving the same one over and over and over again. Plus, we've only hit this area twice. So we will do that. I think we're going to be pretty good. I mean, don't get me wrong. Planting kind of, it takes a while. And and yeah, I could probably have used the uh, the X9 or, or sorry, the 9RX and uh, going with a big old John Deere planter, the DB120. Could have definitely done that. Would have taken maybe some less time, but you know what? I really, really like these modded Kinsey planters that uh, JTurk helped me to uh, do. So, you know what? I think we'll be just fine. For now, let's go ahead and turn right here. And then this will set us on a course for preparing at least for hiring workers on both of these bad boys. Before we leave today, I wanted to show you what we're gonna be using in the harvest. Ooh. Yeah, so we'll probably throw on some Continental tires on there or Michelin, one of the two. We'll throw on a dark window tent just because it looks super cool. Big old double, triple mirrors on the outsides. These are awesome because we run 10,000 liter round cotton bales, but it has a max driving speed of 19 miles an hour versus 12. Working speed still six. However, I can just unlock that and make it drive that fast. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We've got our uh, cedars over here. They are rocking and rolling. If I can boop around to here, this one's doing fine as well. I think we're going to be okay once it's all said and done. I just got a bunch of extra stuff sitting around. Oh, more manure. Go, 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 go. Got it. 